Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. This is a series of videos about Painter X3 and what's new, or Painter 13 if you prefer. Do you like to paint from scratch? Do you use a photographic image but not for cloning, just as a, a reference? Well, there's something specifically for you in Painter X3. If you come over to Window and then come down the list to Reference Image, you will open up uh, the reference image uh, panel. It is, it's very easy to move this size of the panel. The panel itself is dockable either over here. Uh, wait, let me make it a little smaller so it'll fit. You can put it in an actual document like that, or you could put it in, say, a group palette like that. Uh, I like to keep mine free and open. Then when you're ready to open up a reference, you just simply click on Open Reference Image, navigate to where your image is, and I'm going to open up these flowers. We say Open. And there you go. You've got your flowers open. You, ha you default to the drop dropper tool. So I can come in here and click on a color and or sample that color and bring it in uh, here. It's really, 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 really nice. I, I love this thing. Okay, so then another thing that you can do is you can click on the Zoom tool and zoom in. You can use the Pan tool to move around. It's just everything you need, the best of all worlds. We can come in here and pick one of these colors. See, that it's really cool. Anyway, if you like working from scratch, you're going to love the reference panel. Alrighty then, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.